Hey y'all, it's Ashley back with Perfectly Imperfect. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an Easter tablescape. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around for more. Let's get started. The tablecloth that I'm using is from Walmart. It's from the Better Homes and Garden line. It was the first tablecloth that I bought when we moved into our house about a year and a half ago. And I wanted to uh, do this Easter design using items that I already had. So rather than go out and buy an Easter specific tablecloth, because I don't have room for all of these tablecloths, I chose to use this farmhouse style cloth that I already had and design around that. That's why uh, I'm using a bunch of earth tones and this blue shade to kind of pop things here for the Easter decor. I'm using some items that I had around the house like that golden duck. I picked up the silver bunny from Ross and the wicker eggs and the blue Easter egg are from the Target dollar spot. I also enjoyed using some floral stems as my quote unquote table runner. I hadn't planned to use a table runner, but I thought that adding this yellow and green greenery added that pop of color that was missing. One of my favorite things about doing these tablescapes is looking around my house and finding items I already have on hand and figuring out how I can incorporate with my theme. These candlesticks are something you're going to be seeing over and over again in my tablescapes. They're something I thrifted from Goodwill and I just love changing out the tapers for the season. If you're new to my channel, you probably won't know that during college, one of the jobs that I worked was as a banquet caterer. We worked a lot of weddings and birthday parties and doing tablescapes was just part of the job, which also included folding napkins. Although I never worked a job where we folded Easter Bunny napkins, I was happy to find this tutorial on Martha Stewart's website and I hope my tutorial gives you some ideas as well. I'll, I'll also link the video I used in the description box below. Using a starched napkin would work best for this fold. My napkin was a little bit flimsy, so it made the fold a little bit difficult, but you should be okay.
I decided not to include this recipe in this video, so I will be featuring my low carb, high protein brunch recipe this coming Thursday, March 28th. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. And remember, being perfect is boring.